Hey everyone, it's Amanda and today I'm filming a get ready with me and I'm going to be using this month's BoxyCharm throughout this video. Yeah, this video is partnered with BoxyCharm and I have a link for you guys down below. So if you want to sign up for BoxyCharm, it's like a monthly subscription service and they send really, really nice like full size products, beauty products. And in this video, you will see all the products that come in the May one and they're really nice. So you can see how they worked and how I got this look. So just keep on watching and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. So the first thing from my boxy charm box that I'm going to be using to get ready today is the Cover FX Blurring Primer. I haven't tried this out yet, but I am excited to try it because I've been looking for a new primer. So let's see how this one is. I already have on like moisturizer and everything. It's a very smooth consistency, which I like. It feels a lot like the Benefit Professional one, which is my favorite primer that I haven't had in a while, and I've been wanting to go purchase it again. But this one feels really, really smooth and really nice, so I like that. Next, for my foundation, I am using my Fen. Ow. <laughs> I'm using my Fenty Beauty one in the shade 310. So it's a little dark, but my body is really tan right now. So it matches in the end. I'm just applying that with my beauty blender. So yes, and I am lazy. So I just spray my Mario Badescu Rose Water spray on it to get it wet because I don't feel like getting up. I haven't filmed like a makeup video in a long time so this feels kind of weird all right and i'm nowhere near a beauty guru i'm just showing you guys like what what i do when i get ready so i know it looks kind of crazy and it probably looks even crazier on camera when i first put it on but once everything else is on it looks fine and it matches like with the rest of my body so it doesn't look wild. I love this foundation. It literally like blurs every imperfection out. It's amazing. Whatever. My eyelids are like very discolored so I always need to go over them. Have you guys watched The Kissing Booth on Netflix? Comment down below. I just watched it and it actually ended up being really cute. So let me know if you watched it and what you thought of it. And if you didn't watch it, go watch it and then tell me what you thought about it. I thought it was really cute and the girl from Ramona and Beezus is in it. And I actually met her once at a Taylor Swift concert because I had like floor tickets and holy shit <laughs> I had four tickets and she like was there I met like her and like Taylor Swift's mom alright I'm gonna take my concealer which I like to use the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer it's my favorite concealer this is in shade 1 which is very light but it brightens up a lot I don't really put a ton on I just kind of put it in like the corner of my eyes I don't know, this this foundation kind of covers up everything else, so let's put it a little, because it's really light, so it kind of looks ridiculous. <laughs> so, yeah. This literally looks white. <laughs> I really like using kind of like a light concealer though, like on the very inner corners because it really makes you look a lot more awake. Like, I mean right now it kind of looks wild, but once like powder's on and everything, it really gives you like a very like awake look. I mean, 
I'm not like a beauty guru or a makeup artist or anything, so who knows, but that's just what I think looks good, so that's what I'm going to tell you about. All right. To set this, I always use my Hello Flawless Benefit Powder. This is my go-to for years now, so. Alright, so now that we're all set, I always take um, a makeup wipe and like go over my eyebrows because I'm a mess and I always get makeup on them. For bronzer, I'm using another thing that I got from the BoxyCharm box and this is the Pure um, like Sculptor Palette, which I've used this. I tried it once and I loved it. This eye is like burning right now. I have really bad allergies, so... Um, I'm really feeling it right now. Holy shit. So I used this once and I loved it. So it just has two um, contour shades and then two highlights. So um, I'm taking the brush that also came in the box, which is really nice. It's an Aesthetica P12 brush. Um, that's probably not how you say that, but yeah, it's like the perfect little contour brush. So this is actually the first time I'm using this. It's really, really soft, so. I'm just gonna dip into both. And just sculpt out my cheekbone. Bronzing is easily my favorite. This also smells really good, this bronzer. No. No. This brush is so soft. My face is loving it. This bronzer, it's like the perfect shade. And it does the job. I look so much like... Like, I feel like I look so much more washed out in the viewfinder right now than I do, like, in my mirror. Like, in my mirror, I look like a normal human. I don't know why that happens. I think I need to chill out. I say as I put more. I don't know, I just feel like I need to make sure I look blended in the camera, because... I don't know why I just always look so different in the camera than I do in real life. It's really scary and weird. Okay. Mm. Okay. That's it for that. Next I'm going to do um, my eyebrows. I'm going to go back to that palette later. But, but this box actually comes with a few more brushes. So I'm going to use those for my eyebrows these two. There's a spoolie brush and then this little angled brush. So I'm going to use the those two and then there's also this one which I'm going to get to later when I use it for eyeliner. So yeah we're just going to go through them. They're the same brand as the other brush. So yeah. This is my billion dollar brows um, Mad About Brow palette always I use these two, Taupe and Raven, which is like black and a brown. Um, Alright, so first I'm just gonna brush through them a little bit. This brush is a little thick. I don't, I might be for, um, more for eyeliner, but I'm just gonna use it for my brows and see what happens. Not too bad, not too bad, okay. Next, I'm going to do my eyeshadow, which I'm going to use um, the browns in this, in my crease, and I'm going to put one of these shimmering ones. I almost dropped it. I literally just felt my heart drop. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to use one of the shimmery shades on my lid, just because I want to use as much from this box as I can, so you can really see, like, the pigment and everything, and how these could also be used as eyeshadows, so... For primer, I'm going to use the Smashbox 24 hour one. First, taking a pretty fluffy brush, I'm just going to take the brown, the top of brown, because that one's a little bit lighter. And I'm just going to put that in my crease. 
I can't wait to put on the highlight for you guys because it's beautiful. I don't really wear too much eyeshadow. I like to keep it pretty simple, so that's what we're going to do. All right, now I'm taking my concealer and I'm going to try and cut my crease. We're gonna do half cut crease, actually. Need more concealer. It's honestly really easy to do on. I mean, it's probably not the best one, but you know, it's looking good. Now I'm taking this brush. It's like a very short, like stubby, like brush, and I'm taking the highlight trailblazer. And I'm putting that over the concealer that I just put down. Now I'm taking the brown again and just blending it, kind of. It's honestly not really cut crease, but you know what? I don't give a fuck, bitch. I'm taking the darker um, bronzer and putting it on my outer corner. Doesn't look too bad. I'm not a makeup artist as I said. Don't you forget it. I'm gonna go back in with the highlight just to intensify it. All right, that's as good as that she's gonna get. Now we're gonna take um, this little guy, this little thin brush, so I'm out of focus, I want to be in focus, and I'm just going to take the bronzers again, and go under, like, my, like, bottom lash line. Honestly, that kind of looks fucking good, girl. Ooh! Okay, you might not think it looks good, but I'm pretty proud of myself, so. Now I'm going to go do the other eye off camera, and I will be right back okay so i just finished my other eye and now i'm going back into the box that i got and i'm taking this eyeliner it is the pretty vulgar ow i just literally dropped that on my chest and it like hurt like so on this eyeliner i'm taking on this brush that i came with and i'm just gonna do like a thin line because I'm not good at doing like wings or anything so I'm just gonna keep it simple and do what I know I can so okay I really like this eyeliner I've used it once before when I attempted a wing the wings didn't really come out good but the eyeliner was really good so it's just this like gel liner and this brush came with it. It is another one by that brand. And it's just like this thin liner brush. This would be so good if you were good at wings. So I'm not very good at eyeliner. But this eyeliner is really good and really smooth. And it makes it really easy to apply. So that's better than anything else it would have looked like. So... Yeah, and I like this kind of eyeliner with like a brush a lot better than like a felt tip because the felt tips tend to dry out really fast for me. So, I don't know. Pretty sure my mom stole my better than sex mascara, so that's kind of rude. But we're going to be using Benefit They're Real today. Okay, now for my favorite part, the highlighter. Okay. I'm taking this little e.l.f. brush. Going in. I'm using both just because I feel like it. I just got this mirror all wet. But okay. That defeats the purpose. Can't see out of it. Boom. Look at that. Blinding. Ugh. Like, jeez. Like, okay. Okay. I don't mind that ever. The nose is my Baved highlight. So cute. All right, the last thing for this is this lip gloss that also came in the box. It is the 
Han Skincare Cosmetics All Natural Lip Gloss, and it is in the shade Nude Rose. I haven't used this yet. It's really smooth and glossy. I like it a lot and it's very like close to my actual lip color so it's really pretty i like that all right that was it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed thank you so much for watching don't forget to use my link down below if you want to sign up for boxycharm yourself so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching i love you all to the moon and back and i will talk to you in my next one bye